when I started dating Andrew, there were two rooms that I was not allowed to go in. The storage room and the bonus room. And it was kind of this secret behind closed doors, literally, that he wouldn't let me go into. Okay, so, preliminary assessment. When we first started this project, I don't think, I didn't realize, and I don't think Rachel realized either how big of a project we were undergoing. Just so you know, this is gonna be a dirty job. I know. Uh, dude, I tackled your bathroom. That's true. <laughs> I can tackle that. But this is worse. They were pretty bad. <laughs> Dust bunnies rolling in the AC breeze. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> there was mold. There was inches of dust. There was spillage on the floor from past washing machine overflows. The grossest part about cleaning his storage room was all of the dead bug carcasses because he had sprayed his house at some point and all the bugs had died, but stayed there. So... <sighs> Once we started getting into this project, uh, we had to basically go in and take everything that was in the storage room and kind of bring it out into my main living room so we can kind of see what we're doing with it, see what's there. Uh, the problem is, is that we realized, uh, before we knew it, that my whole living room was completely filled with stuff that was in the storage room. He found it as a surprise that his entire rest of the house was getting dirtied by us taking stuff out of this room, but I actually kind of do that intentionally so that we can't stop in the middle. <laughs> because if you stop in the middle, you'll never finish. It is humongous now. It makes you actually want to be in there doing laundry. 
Yeah, out there for a while. I hated doing laundry because I hated going into that room. Um, now that it's wide open, clean, I actually, uh, I actually don't mind it at all now. But she's a good partner. She forces me to do things that I probably wouldn't have done.